Hello and welcome back. Today we're going through some more world coins, coins that have kindly been sent into my PO box. If you have sent coins into the PO box, they will make an appearance on one of these world coin hunts in the future on a Sunday. Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, the earlier episode, uh, the earlier episode, earlier video, which was the Easter 50p coin hunt. Uh, it was great fun recording it. I'm looking forward to seeing whether I won or more likely didn't win. Uh, <laughs> congratulating the actual winner. But anyway, um, we're going to look at my new Mr. front page. New Mr. is the website I use to log my world coins on. Uh, my UK coins as well. I mean, not some of my more recent ones. I haven't updated it for a fair bit for those. But uh, it's an invaluable tool that I I've been using for many, many years. And I'd highly recommend you tried it all, uh, if you haven't already. Uh, as ever, I'm not sponsored or incentivized to send you across to New Mr. It's just a website that I've used for a long time and would highly recommend it. But let's look at some coins now. So we've got some coins from Andrew Skull King. Uh, we might have enough to last the whole video as well in this little bundle. Uh, I think this is Belgian, isn't it? Yep, it's 50 centimes, 19... Is that 99? 93. Uh, obviously with Belgian coins, there's the Dutch and French spelling of Belgium, which adds a bit of variety to them. Um, and this is from the Netherlands, 5 cents. 1980. Ooh, there's a sort of sticker on the back of it there. Very cool, though. And then a little. Ooh, that's gonna be South African. No, no, the Cayman Islands, 2019. One cent. Well, that's very cool. I do like animals on coins, so that's very nice. Uh, we are off to France now in 1963. We've got the little owl privy mark. It's 20 centimes. There we go. Um, this is Hungarian, 5 foreign. The year is so small on this. 2007. I think we've got another animal on there. Is that a heron? It's probably not a heron, isn't it? But worth a guess. A guest. Worth a guess. I can't talk. <laughs> um, oh, I do know this one. It's five. Oh, a Q8. So five. Mm, what's the denomination? Is it Phil's? Or is it like dirhams? I can't recall. Q8's not a country I have many coins from, so that's pretty cool. Uh, back to Belgium. Another 50 centimes. 1970. Quite cool. And oh, this is Bulgarian. Um, to Stotinki from the year 2000. Very cool. I think it's is it George and the Dragon? I can never recall. I think it might be, but very nice. Uh, Belgian again, one franc, 19. What's that? 93, 83. I think it's nine. 1993. Oops. Very cool. Uh, this is another one of these ones from the Cayman Islands. One cent. 2017. Very cool. It's a really nice design on that, isn't it? Uh, back to France. These are, are they 20 francs? No, 10 francs. 1990. You can see the privy marks changed on this one. It's the dolphin. Very cool. Another Belgian 50 centimes, 1996. Lovely stuff. And another Dutch 5 cents, 1980 on this one. Uh, sans sticker that <laughs> was on the whoops, one we looked at earlier. Back to Bulgaria. Another two Stotinki from 2000. And back to France. It's 10 francs, isn't it? 1990. Very cool. I do like buying metallic coins, they're quite cool. Um, another Belgian. 50 centimes, 1994. So hopefully, helping out my date run a little bit. We're going to Spain. We've not been to Spain so far. So, 1975. Um, 
five pesetas, but the date in the star is the actual year this coin was minted in, so it might be a different year. I can't read it off of the tiny little viewfinder I'm looking on, but uh, for those of you looking at a bigger screen or myself in the edit with a bit of magnification, it should be easy to tell. Sometimes they do get a bit battered though, and that's a bit of a shame you can't tell what year it is. Off to Poland with 50 grosh. 55 even. <laughs> oh God, it's not going well, is it? Right, 2018. Very cool. We've got, we've got a nice variety of countries so far. Another Belgian, 50 centimes, 1977 this time. Very nice. We've got a few more to go. Uh, this is Hong Kong. It's a cool little scalloped coin from 1975. 10 cents. We've got the Queen on the obverse. Superb. Uh, another Belgian. 50 centimes. What year is this one? 19... It's a 53? Possibly. Cool. Quite a broad range of dates. I didn't realise they were into that going for so long. Uh, 10 centimes. France. 1979. We've seen lots of these pre-Euro French coins in the past. Um, the 50 centimes different year 1993 cool go back to Poland here with a teeny tiny little one grosh it's from 2015 super stuff all right we've got four more to go we might have time to look at some other coins as well uh, France 10 centimes 1967 stuff. Another one from Belgium, 1993. Very cool. Bit of a bigger Belgian coin, 5 francs, 1986. And then finally, I'm going back to Hong Kong here, 1998, 10 cents. That lovely little orchid on the back. Super stuff. Well, thank you for those coins. So circling back round to Andreas, we've got another little package of coins from him. We have a German one mark from 1878. Is that a little mid mark there? Is that an initials of an artist? Hmm. Not sure. Pretty cool there. 1878. It's quite old then. Uh, Hungary again. 100 foreign. This is a thick coin. 19... what's that? 95? Very nice. Um, oh my goodness. 100 yen to be Japan. Expo 70. I guess it's 1970, 100 yen. Look at that! What a pretty design. I've never seen that before. That's stunning, isn't it? Um, we've got Queen Elizabeth II. Nigeria, 1959. One shilling. It's a little security rim on it too. That's pretty neat, isn't it? I don't think we've got many coins from Nigeria. Look at that. Two Pula. It's a bimetallic rhinoceros in the middle. Where's this from? Botswana. Have I got any coins from Botswana? I don't know. 2013. We've got a very cool coat of arms there. What does it say at the bottom there? I don't know what that word says. That's a stunning coin though, isn't it? Um, back to Hungary with a 20 foreign. 1995. I think we'll wrap off with one more coin. It's going to be oh, Russian, 50 rubles. Nine, uh, sorry, 2016. That ah, sort of Soviet shrine. Uh, 9th of March, 1945. So end of the Second World War potentially. Mm, it's quite a pretty design, isn't it? Well, there we go. Some fascinating coins. We'll have a look at Numista. 
as we did at the start of the video just to see how this video affects my collection but a whole range of interesting coins today so there we go lots of exciting coins in today's videos a nice variety of different countries and different uh, times uh, throughout the ages so very very cool stuff uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments what your favorite coin for today's video has been as I've had coins from multiple people I don't feel it's right for me to pick a favorite but uh, I'd love to know in the comments what coins you guys are liking and why you're liking them as ever there are links in the description across to my coin collecting discord server if you want to come and join that there are also links to my other social media channels the PO box stress if you want to write in to me and of course a link to the Britannia coin company's YouTube channel that's the company I work for as my day job so please do check them out as well all it leaves me to do now though is thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins bye